everyone, Achika here, and it is finally time to announce the winners of Base Off Places Wild. We had 21 incredible entries, so thank you so much to all of our incredible contestants. You definitely did not make my job or Lycan's job any easier because we have the wild card winning spot, which is the first time in Base Off history, so that's exciting. Uh, we'll get into that soon, but before we do, I just want to say again, thank you so much for, for just everything. This Base Off was absolutely incredible. Um, Against all odds, too, because life being uh, absolute, the the beautiful ball of chaotic glory that it is, uh, definitely threw quite a few wrenches at me this time around, but um, everything worked out really, really well. I thank you guys so much for your patience. Uh, I know I delayed a few things here and there. Um, both Lycan and I are kind of going through the gambit of, like I said, uh, life <laughs> and all its, uh, all its glory. Um, and uh, I know that it was some of the some of the pushbacks were last minute, but just the the overwhelming feedback of uh, positivity and understanding from you guys was just just quite was very very nice. So thank you again so much for 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 that. I really really do appreciate it. Um, and again, thank you guys. And, and also just as well as just the streams were awesome. There were so many of you guys who came out to the streams. And it was so interactive. Um, everybody was was talking. I, I could barely keep up with the chat. Um, also, just the interactive aspects of the stream. Both Golden Dragon and Lady Clay had some Wayne Manor and Spider inspired interactions. So thank you to both of them, as well as all their friends and league mates who made it possible. That was that was so much fun. I will have separate videos for those in the future, hopefully, uh, of the VODs uh, condensed down so you guys can enjoy those just as YouTube videos if you if you don't want to consume, you know, <laughs> go through the VODs. I will have them there uh, for you guys. Um, but yeah, thank you for the for everybody who came out to the streams and, and checked out the YouTube videos. Thank you for everybody who supports Base Off just by watching or uh, enjoying the content. And thank you so much to the donors who make the prize pools. Um, you know, doable because it's hard to keep up with that kind of thing sometimes. <laughs> so again, thank you so much to, to everyone for just making base off what it is. I, I really, really appreciate you guys, especially for this one, because it definitely was, um, uh, like I said, life definitely has a way of, of being chaotic and it was quite the time, but overall it turned out to be absolutely wonderful. So thank you guys so much for your patience, understanding, and just for being absolutely incredible. I have one of the best communities. I will say that um, till the end of time, the base community here on DCO is just absolutely amazing. So again, thank you guys. Thank you guys so, so much. I really, really appreciate you. <laughs> so you know what? While we get into the reason you're here, enough of me rambling. Um, before we do that, though, let's do the judging criteria. Uh, so Places Wild uh, had, was a free-for-all competition, so any base could enter so long as it hadn't been entered in base off before uh, and was finished. Like, that was pretty much it. Um, there are five judging criteria, and they're all weighed equally. There is nothing that outweighed the other in certain base-offs, like storytelling sometimes is weighted, aesthetic is weighted, that kind of thing. Um, but this time it was all even playing field for everyone. There are five criteria for base-off, as you all know, uh, or if you're new to base-off, uh, it is creativity, craftsmanship, logic, storytelling, and aesthetics. Um, so those are the five main pillars, uh, that I judge based off of for my rubric. Um... And then this for the for those are for the grand prizes, but we also have the wild card spot, which we will get into the judging criteria for that later on. So we have a secret wild card winner <laughs> this time around for first time in base off history. So that's exciting. Um, yeah, so that is the judging criteria. Uh, how everything came around. So um, the first round, I uh, I did I did like two or three initial passes through all the bases and. I, uh, I narrowed it down to, I think it was a dozen bases at first, then eight, then six, and then begrudgingly down to four, and then it got really rough. That was, those were the ones I had to go through several times with a fine tooth comb <laughs> to get to where we were. Um, so why don't we start with third place? In third place, we had two bases who were battling, uh, very, very uh, passionately uh, with points uh, back and forth. And those were uh, Psychotech with Doomed Vessel and I Onslaught with Mercurial Monastery, um, both of which were very condensed 
um, intimate, detailed, uh, item combo heavy bases, which I absolutely love. Like they both are just incredible, um, um, bases but in very, very diff vastly different ways though. Right. So you had I onslaught's, uh, mercurial monastery, which was a mystical, uh, themed layer. And it was a, a, a pre predecessor to one of their other bases. Um, the uh, Intersight, I think, is what it, it's called. I, I might be getting the name wrong on that, but I will have it here on the channel here in the next couple months, so I'm really excited to have that, and then I'll do uh, Mercurial Monastery after that, too. So it'll be, a, like, a one-two combo. It'll be very fun. <laughs> um, but, uh, so, it was just a, a lot of really good mystical combos to really explain the character that lived here, you know what I mean? It had very lofty and vi ambition vibes. Um, so it, it gave off like the, the mystical, the mystical monk or sorcerer who lived in this place with all these topsy turvy areas, uh, for living, uh, but also very functioning as like a sorcerer. Uh, you had the library area, all the artifacts scattered about. It was like an artifact trove actually. Um, the basement was blocked off. So you like, I onslaught used absolutely all the spots in the top uh, few floors of the regular medium theme base, which can be very condensed and very detailed. And it definitely was. There were so many fun details and just absolutely amazing item combos throughout. It was it was wonderful. So it it was a very fun magical manner of mystery <laughs> that definitely uh, caught my attention. On the other hand, you had another very uh, detailed uh, theme. Uh, it's a dive theme. Uh, and it was from a psychotech with Doom Vessel, which was, it told the story, like, where I Onslaught's character was, like, being told through descriptive elements. Uh, Doomed Vessel was more telling the story of the ship itself rather than a person. Of it crashing into the volcano, being shot down, and the AI trying to save itself while letting the crew perish in, in the wake of all this flaming, uh, flaming hot magma. <laughs> was entering uh the ship as it sank to the bottom of this volcano uh grave and um yeah it just really amazing item combos all the monitor screams that clipped with each other the lava dripping in um the the broken source walls as well as the hidden uh zapping sounds from the rocks of eternity and the ma uh, malfunctioning t-spears that were hidden throughout so you had the lightning going on in the background the ai like you know containing itself in this spherical uh, uh, shield while everything else around it just burns and is engulfed in flames and all the corpses of the the rest of the people trying to operate the vessel is just it's just it is insanity but in the best way possible and it is like so detail oriented both of the bases were absolutely incredible with detail but one pushed ahead of the other just by a small margin of a couple points and that was Psychotech with Doom Vessel. So congratulations to Sai on your third place winning base. Uh, and thank you so much. Uh, shout out to I Onslaught as well for Mercurial Monastery, both of which are incredible. I can't wait to tour them, both of them for the channel. Um, but yeah, Sai, Sai inched out by just a bit. So congratulations on your third place win. <laughs> um, the next ones who were fighting it out were... Uh, the, these two bases really excelled in creativity, like a lot, like really excelled in creativity and did some things I'd never seen done for a base, uh, or just like, like in different ways. Um, so you had one that went off and did creativity in a narrative function and one did creativity in an aesthetic option. So the two bases I'm talking about for first and second place are Smooth's Art Studio as well as Agatha Harkness's War Torn Coven, um, both of which, like I said, really excelled with creativity. So Smooth's art gallery was just something I had never seen done in DCUO before. I had seen a few people do like an art gallery, but it was always just a few paintings on the wall um, here and there, you know, it's painting, statue, that sort of thing. Smooth literally created like art pieces within DCUO. Like, things that if you took, like, the pieces from DCUO and put them into the real world, they could be actual art installations. And I thought it was just absolutely, a, 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 like, a, a masterpiece in itself. <laughs> like, there are just, there are some pieces in that art museum that I'm like, man, I would really love to have that hanging on my wall. Um, the way that 
he got things to clip as they clipped was impressive. I've never thought to use items in that, that way before. Also, the intentionality of the clipping. So, you know how we get those weird glitches in our objects? Uh, sometimes we overlay them and they have that weird, like, seizing out motif. Uh, Smooth found a way to intentionally use that in a lot of his pieces uh, to where it was, it was highly intentional because you saw so many overlaps that didn't glitch out, and then you saw the ones that did, and they were... They're very intentional, which which I think is very, very cool. Uh, the shadow effects that were gotten, the use of shadows um, throughout the framing devices used uh, throughout the base. It was just, aesthetically, it was one of the strongest bases I've ever seen, as well as just conceptually, the idea of the art gallery in DCUO was a very fun idea. And then at the bottom, you had the actual art studio where everything was being made, as well as an installation area uh, off to the side. It's It was, it was a really, it was really, really cool. Um, I have asked Smoove for their art, um, their their list of titles too. So now now that you know that it's going to be featured here in the next couple of days on the channel because it is going to win either first or second place, um, that I, I've asked for the titles for the pieces. So I'm excited to share that with you guys in the tour. But yeah, it it was just it was amazing. It was just really really great. I like I said I've never seen anything like it and it was just extremely creative and just like it pushed aesthetics to like a whole new level um for for deco for me that I that I saw. So it was it was a really wonderful base. Now, on the other hand, the other one competing with it was Agatha Harkness's War Torn Coven which was a very amazing cinematic um dive into this narrative of the 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 fighting witch covens. Uh, fighting one another with magic and the 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 onslaught and the um, the carnage and just the fallout of all that, um, as well as the 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 hunkering down the leftover uh, people of the coven who are still living like in the the secret bunker down below. Um, you enter into like the village area and then you get to the actual like coven academy. Uh, the Mage Academy sort of thing, and all the bodies are just littered everywhere with debris everywhere. The whole thing has been just absolutely devastated with magic. There, are, All the skeletons are impaled with some kind of magical weapon. Uh, the use of the cooling buckets was incredible, as well as some of the weapon racks to impale these these skeletal figures that have been like left in the wake of, the, of this war. All the crows that were around to, to pick off the bodies. Um... Uh, and also the use of the new anniversary, or not new, but uh, the anniversary seasonal items of the, the broken flooring to create a whole new floor. We had seen that before in a few other bases, but the way that Agatha did it where some of the wall items were being used as if they were part of the floor. So like there was like an area where it was like definitely a potions area of the, the academy. Um, it, she, she used uh, pipes, like pipes to... Um, to, to represent cauldrons that were on the floor, like the, the Atlantean pipes, and I just thought that was just so incredible. Like, to make it look like things were on that, that hovering flooring that's a wall item was just really, really cool. And then, like I said, as you go through the whole base, you see all this carnage, and then down below is this very vernal bunker where they're keeping out magic, or, or they're, they're keeping magic alive while also using magic to fend off a few other invaders who were trying to invade into the bunker. It was just... I don't know, the way, the use of items um, was very, very creative, and the story being told was really driven home by all the details through it, and it was just a really, really well done base, just overall extremely well done um, in the storytelling realm, just, just, uh, it, it was, it was, it was very cool, so, yeah, so those were your two fighting back and forth for first and second place. Again, there can only be one winner, so one did inch above the other um, in, in, in a couple of points at the very end. And so in second place, we have Agatha Harkness with War Torn Coven. So that means in first place, your grand prize winner is Smoove with Art Studio. Congratulations to both of you. Um, like I said, both of your bases were incredible. Agatha, one of the best storytelling bases, as well as creativity, like with the death scenes, was very, very cool. And then Smooth, that that base, that is something I've never seen done on DCUO. Um, and it made me, like I said, think back to all the, the gallery openings that I had been to uh, and haven't gotten to go to. Um, 
in quite some time, like I said in the VOD. So again, thank you so much for, for, uh, for, yeah, for, you know, like give me that, ex that. I don't know. It was just a really good experience walking through that art base. It was, it was very cool. <laughs> So thank you both for your incredible bases. All your prizes will be mailed out shortly, hopefully here over the next two weeks for all of our winners. Congratulations uh, to our top three. Those are our grand prize winners. Um, but we have one more uh, thing to settle here. We have a wild card winner on our hands. Uh, so Lycan is going to be our judge for that. Um, you know what? Why don't I? Why don't I bring him in? Right? You know, right about now. Ah, there we go. Lycan in the flesh or in the pixels, I guess I'd say. <laughs> Thank you for joining me here. Uh, we had a bit of a snafu with Lycan's mic. He's actually operating on PC, so there's a bit of lag since his console is under repair currently. Um, but he was able to judge. He took a lot of time to judge, too, because uh, I know his PC is laggy and is not really a uh, game uh, capable. <laughs> in some ways so uh, kudos to you like and thank you so much again for for your judging uh but he has wrote out a statement that he'd like me to read uh so here we go from the desk of lichen <laughs> okay so i approached this by asking myself wwad what would chica do <laughs> and then doing the opposite <laughs> awesome <laughs> So I wanted to see an actual base, like a place to live slash operate out of, as opposed to a Chica's love for being told a story. I do enjoy a story, so. <laughs> uh, whatever direction y'all went with your bases, you all did a fantastic job. So real quick, shout out slash honorable mentions go to Corrupt Prison by Soulcatcher and Eve's Metro University on the EU side. All manner themes were also just absolutely incredible as well. But your first ever wild card winner is the Stinkhole by Outlander DF. Oh, that's great. <laughs> Funny name, great base. The sewer layer theme was an excellent choice. The living quarters on the top floor were just really well put together. An amazing base. So that's the end of what I'm here for. So real quick, I want to thank Achika oh, thank <laughs> for inviting me to be a part of all this and for putting Base Off together. Oh, to the contestants for allowing me entry to some awesome bases and all the other people who haven't entered Base Off yet but still watch, I'd like to thank you for the support. <laughs> and in parentheses, he put, now join in Base Off. It's, real, it's really a lot of fun. <laughs> Awesome. I agree. <laughs> I second that. And I will catch everyone as soon as I get my replacement console. And yes, I will be doing more videos for the Phoenix Syndicate, his YouTube channel, when that happens. Take care of yourselves and so long, everybody. Lycan. <laughs> So thank you so much, Lycan, for judging. And thank you and congratulations to Outlander DF for the Stinkle, our first ever wild card winner. You will be given your prizes here. You get the, uh, I think Lycan deemed it the Puff Puff Poop package. <laughs> so uh, there's a bunch of really great goodies in there. So I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope you guys enjoyed the wild card experience. And thank you again, Lycan, so much for... Uh, for joining me in this journey, the the first ever wild card. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, I will zap you back off so that you can continue on with your leisure here. So let me just, uh, all right, a little bit of a spell here. And there we go. That's, that's, you know, I'm sure he went someplace nice, right? No, he did. <laughs> I'm sure, I'm sure he made it to where he's going. I mean, he's a werewolf. He'll, he'll land on his feet, right? Oh, wait, that's, that's cats. I, no, he'll be, he'll be fine. He'll be fine. <laughs> oh, man. So, yes, that was your wild card winner. Congratulations to Outlander DF for your base, the stink hole. It was an incredible base. Uh, we look forward to all the Spectrum uh, confiscated goodies that'll be in our way. <laughs> if you don't know what I mean, go check out the VOD or wait until the showcase. It's, it's going to be a, it's going to be, that's going to be a wild tour. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. So again, thank you so much to Lycan for the wild card judging uh, and all, like I said, um, for, for making this, this base, you know, for testing out this base off theme. If you guys like the wild card spot, let me know so I know if I should do it more uh, in the future. We'll see. We'll see what's to come. Um, 
Yeah, and again, congratulations to Outlander for for their base. Um, yeah, I think that's about it, you guys. So again, thank you so much to all the absolutely incredible contestants for making Base Off what it is. I say this every time, but you guys make what I do worth doing, and just to see you guys come out in such full force and just absolutely crush it, it's... It's always an absolute delight, uh, even amidst all, like I said, all the chaos and all the the extra work that went into so much so much of this. Um, it's always worth it because you guys you guys are worth it, and your bases are incredible, and they all always fill me with such joy. And to see you guys creating things and putting so much passion behind it, it's just it's always a really good time. So again, thank you so much to all the contestants, all the viewers, all the supporters, all the donors, everyone who makes Space Off possible. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. I can't, I'm going to take a break for a little bit to plan out the next Space Off season. I'm hoping to be back by April, hopefully. If not, though, it might not be until the beginning of summer. We shall see how, how much of a vacay I need. <laughs> so, um... So yeah, just be on the lookout for that. So again, thank you so much to everyone who makes Base Off what it is. Uh, yeah, and thank you, and congratulations to all of our winners. Um, that's about it, guys. So with that, Base Off 2023 has come to a close. I cannot wait to see you guys for future Base Offs. I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day, as well as uh, all this time away. Uh, expect the showcases to continue Wednesday and Saturday, as always. Uh, you guys are in for for those videos. Um, yeah, that's that's about it, you know. But I'm just gonna be checking out bases, building myself, and getting everything together for the next couple months. So, all right, that's enough of me rambling. I hope you guys have a <laughs> have a great rest of your day. Um, and yeah, I will catch you guys in the next one. Take care, everybody.